Welcome back to Isolation. This series is all about riding bikes, building trails, and making the most of life during the pandemic. Okay, welcome back to Sharknado. We're out here and this is episode 50 of Isolation. Pretty crazy to think I've done 50 episodes on this trail. And today's a bit of a milestone because the trail is finally done and I can test out the last two hits. But first I have a lot of work to do, a lot more than I thought. Like the last couple weeks have been pretty intense rainstorms and windy and there isn't only like tree branches all over the forest and all over like the trail, but we have like sand washing out. Because I'm working with sandier material, you can see like all the sand I had to move off the bottom of the forest floor here. It was like washing in off the stump jump landing from the roller over there and it just all kind of pulled up here. So I'm trying to get all that loose stuff out of the way and everything is like just, it looks like it was just like a bomb went through everything and it's all turned up, it's all pretty rough. We're gonna get things rideable, but yeah, I can't believe the damage that all this rain did. Let's go take a look at the rest. Look at, look at this, we got a nice little pond beside the stump jump now. So, what do you think, Scott? Should we get some koi fish? Yeah, Keep Sharknado, the shark Sharknado <laughs> needs some koi fish. Exactly. <laughs> okay, and like, look at this over here. It's so washed out. I'm kind of worried about this. This is like the only spot I'm a little worried about because you have like a lot of impact coming up the step down and it's a bit of a rock garden now. <laughs> that whole layer of nice soil is just completely gone. I don't know where it washed out to, but it's not there anymore. It's in the koi pond. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna get this rolling. I think this will be the worst spot on the whole line. Once this is like a little more rideable looking. I mean, you could ride it now, but I want to smooth it out a bit. I haven't rode this trail in a few weeks at least, maybe even more than a month. So I'm gonna be a little rusty and we got two new hits to ride today. So it's exciting. All right, let's get the trail finished. The one broken bucket that's left here. <laughs> we're at the bottom now everything is looking awesome it's cleaned up the top half of the line is pretty rough right now from all that rain washout but it's rideable it'll be a bit rough today but rideable and now i'm trying to like calculate how i'm gonna hit this last speed gap when i'm standing on the takeoff like 30 30 feet back here. This shark fin looks like it wants to kick me into my right, which is good because I only have like, I would say four feet of width for landing here. It's not super wide. And if I go too far riders left, I'm going into the bushes. If I go too far riders right, I'm hitting that embankment on the edge of the landing. So I got to really nail this and I'm trying to envision just right now, where exactly I want to aim for. And what it's telling me is I want to aim for going directly over some of these taller ferns in the middle. And then I'll come down right here and that should bring me into this. And even if I'm not quite hipped enough, I should have enough time to turn to not slam into the bank there. So that's my plan. A little nervous about this because it's such a long jump. I don't know how much speed I'm going to need and coming up short on this would not be that great. It's not really got much of a case pad at all. I, I dug this pretty quick just to get it done. And uh, yeah, it's a little gnarly. Okay, let's gear up and get to the top. The end of Sharknado. We're at the end. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Only took 50 videos to make this trail. <laughs> like five of them were the stump gap alone. Yeah, at least. Much. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, haven't been up here in a while. Okay, first lap down Sharknado in more than a month. It's in rough shape. Feeling a little nervous. Two new hits. Gonna hopefully do the first new hit this lap. And uh, yeah, let's just uh, let's get in the mindset of sending it. All right, you good? Okay, drop. All right.
Oh, I kissed a lily pad. <laughs> oh, it's so annoying. It's so soggy in there. Second lap. That is soft. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of speed. I've done jumps like that before, and with step downs, you always, always go deeper than it looks like. But that was intense. I really sunk, sunk in there, hey? <laughs> what do you think about uh, hitting it from the step down? It looked doable, didn't it? I mean, I didn't go off it that fast. Yeah, I mean, going o doing it with the step down is 100% doable. You were like slamming on your brakes. Yeah, I here. think so. And I, I, the lining's so soft right now that like, I don't really want to go bigger on that until yeah. it packs in and so, so fresh still. So I think the best bet is to like try to dial it in from the lily pad lining so I don't have to hike to the top every time. And then once I have this like fine tuned, we can go have a go at this one. Wow, this is the very first time I've been able to test anything on Sharknado without going to the top. And besides that time I tried hitting the lily pad from the stump gap. Oh, oh, oh. That was a bit sketch. Okay. All right, drop. That looked oh, good. That looked it good. It feels so slow off it. <laughs> Man, I'm like still worried about speed for this though. It feels like I'm going too slow unless I fully just like let off the brakes and commit. <laughs> this is it. This is probably one of the scariest ones. Not in the stump gap. You've said this every time <laughs> I actually. <know. laughs> I've said that on every hit. And then I? you land it and you're like, oh, that was way easier than I thought. I could have made it bigger. <laughs> I know. I know. But hey. I, I'd be in the same spot as, as you. I'd be far more scared. <laughs> I have a lot of speed. It's gonna be really easy to land front wheel beef and it won't be smooth at all in that case, right? Like, yeah. it's pretty long and short landing. I'm gonna ride down the landing a couple times yeah, just to see call. how it feels. Yeah, that's a good call. It's not feeling safe at all, like the whole setup. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> I stopped up here. <laughs> I tabled too hard off the, the jump out of the berm. Oh my. I'm not on my A game today. That was a solid top to bottom run. I'm feeling really good coming into this now, but the compression for the run in right before the shark fin here for the speed gap is a little too harsh. I feel like I'm getting tossed a little bit every time. And I think the biggest problem here is this landing zone. Coming and taking a look at this, like you can see 
And even like I could feel when I was riding it, there isn't much transition here. So the landing fades away and you so fast. And this gap is so long. As much as I wanted to hit both of these jumps in one episode for everybody, safety is the number one priority here. And I wanna make this a lot smoother too, because even if I can nail it, I don't think it'll be very smooth, especially on a short travel bike. Keeping in mind, I only have 120 mil of travel in the rear. So it's quite a harsh compression for a little bike like that. And the solution to this will be to make the lining come up higher and longer. It'll make it so it's not quite so blind. So I'm gonna build up this corner to about here, like right against the fern. And then we're gonna like go across the top all the way to like right behind this little tree here. And that'll give you like more than like half an extra bike length to transition and a nice steeper section. And then I can roll a nice case pad. It'll be a lot more visible, a lot safer. So essentially we're just making the hit safer, nicer to look at visually. I think it'll make nicer photos and we can really dial things in because I don't want this like amazing line to end with a sketchy hit. I want like a really memorable jump that's really smooth and photogenic. And then that'll give me a bit of time to really dial in that run out, clean it up a bit and we'll have a nice clean, really fun finish to the trail. All right, let's do a bit more riding before we end the episode here. Going to just check the lens here, check the shocks locked out. Be better if it wasn't. All right, let's get it. Oh. It's sloppy and slow out there. Well, that's so fun still though. <sighs> it feels so good to be back out here. I love this zone so much. Not just Sharknado, but all the trails in this area. It's a blast, even when it's soaking wet like this. All right, that is it for this episode, but do not worry. We will be hitting the speed gap really soon. In the next video, I'm gonna be dialing it in. We're gonna get the jump nice and mint, build that landing up. It's going to be really sick. I cannot wait. Okay, and remember, if you want to be featured at the end of any of the isolation episodes here, then go to the link in the description, join the group folder, and sign up for it so you can upload your content and I can download it and throw you at the end of the videos. Here are this episode's submissions. Thanks so much, you guys. I'll see you in the next one. See you later.